Okay, um, hello everyone. All right, so let's talk about using relational operators to compare characters. Now we can use relational operators to compare characters also, and not just numbers. All right, so let's use the equality operator to compare two characters, the characters a, like lowercase a and lowercase a. So I'm going to use an if statement here and test for something like this. If the character a, now, we know that characters are surrounded by single quotations. If we change it to double quotations, we know that this is now a string, all right? So let's compare and say if this character A is equal to double equals for comparison, okay, we are checking to see if what's on the right is equal to what's on the left. So if the character A is equal to the character A, then let's display a message and say that. there is a match something like that right so let's compile this whoops there is an error here system dot out I forgot the T over here so I'm going to put it back compile and run there is a match right because you know we can clearly see that this character a is the same as this character a All right at the same time we can also use the inequality operator which is the not equal to so I'm going to remove one equal sign and have an exclamation mark not equal to this is one operator saying not equal to so we are kind of asking over here as as our boolean expression a is a not equal to a I mean that can be confusing so just just read this and say a not equal to a is it true or false right a is not equal to a is it true or false well that's well <laughs> Well, that's false because a is equal to a, right? So this can be confusing. Let me change this character to b, right? Now let's read it and see. a not equal to b. That's true. This whole Boolean expression will result to true because a is not equal to b. So we can say that if this whole Boolean expression is true, if a is not equal to b, right? If this results to true, then let's print a message and say, and say that that's correct. a is not equal to b right we are kind of asking here is a not equal to b that's true a is not equal to b so this whole thing was also true compile and run and we can see that it says that's correct because over here this a is not equal to b is true because that's true a is not equal to b right and so if it's true then this statement is going to run so we can use the equality and then the inequality operator to compare characters this way all right. Now we can also use the less than sign, the less than or equal to, the greater than sign, and the greater than or equal to. I'm sure you ask yourself, how is it going to compare? You may think that okay, the first characters that the one, the characters that come first, a, you know, you, you know, the, you, you, it, it can be confusing trying to wrap your head around how it compares. So anytime characters are stored in memory, they are not stored as characters directly. They are stored as numbers. Each number, okay, so each character has an, a matching number to it. There's an encoding system called Unicode that Java uses. Each character is represented by a certain number, a certain numeric code, and that numeric code is what's stored in your computer's memory. And if you tell your computer to display that numeric code, or, so, or, or to display, you know, for example, if you, if you tell your character to display that numeric code on your computer, it looks for what character that matches that numeric code and displays the character instead, okay? So when I tell the computer to um, store the character A in my computer's memory, it's going to store the numeric code for A in the memory. And when I want to display that back to my, my computer, the computer looks at the number and says, okay, this number um, has the character A as associated with it, so I'm going to go ahead and display that. Now, if you remember from one of the videos in this Learn Java series, so I'm going to go to uh, my playlist over here and then click on Learn Java. And if you scroll down to the video that says close relationship between characters and integers, over here, close relationship between characters and integers, let me just go ahead and pause it. And then scroll down to the description all these links okay okay contain a table of each character and it's matching numeric code so that system is called unicode right or you may see ascii okay 
um, ASCII stands for American, um, American Standard Code for Information Interchange. It's also kind of a, a system, an encoding system, where each character has a number associated with it. So if I tell the computer to store the character A in memory, it stores 97 in, uh, in memory and not, the, and not A directly. And when this 97 is being displayed back to the computer as a character, it, it, it kind of um, sees that, okay, A is, is associated with 97, so go ahead and print A. Okay, if I'm printing this on the screen as a character. So this ASCII is also an encoding system uh, that has a, a character and it's matching numeric code. But then Unicode is a much more, you know, enhanced, it, it's a much more, um, um, it, it's, a, it's a larger uh, encoding system where it can, it can not only store, you know, these alphabets that we know, but then it can store alphabets, let's say Chinese alphabets, it can store a larger, a larger range of characters. Um, so it has numeric codes, matching numeric codes for different kinds of um, characters, you know, let's say Greek characters, Chinese characters, and so on. But ASCII is ca kind of a, na a narrowed version of it. So Unicode Universal Code um, is what Java uses. So it says over here, Java actually uses Unicode, okay, which includes ASCII and all the characters from languages around the world. And so each character has its own matching code. And so this is a way to kind of see. And so over here, let me go back to our code. When we are checking to see, let's go back to if A is equal to, with a double equal sign, A. When we are checking to see if A is equal to A, what we're actually comparing is we can see that A has the number 97. So what we're actually checking here is if 97 is equal to 97, right, then print that. And so that's how it kind of compares. Now we can also use a less than, greater than sign, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. We can do that. And the way it does that is, is by comparing their numeric codes and seeing which number is larger and which number is smaller, you know, something like that. Actually, that's exactly what it, what it is. And so we can check to see if A is less than B. All right, so now the characters actually appear you know in order like it, it goes from a all the way to z right so it, it, it appears in order and then it increases okay as it's going up so 97 a is 97 and then z is 122 so you would expect that the character a will be less than the character b right because 97 is less than 98 so we, we're going to compare and say if a is less than b then print out that correct a is um, less than B. So let's see if this, this is true. Compile and then run and it says that's correct A is less than B. Let's change this sign to a greater than sign and see. If A is greater than B then print out and say A is greater than B. We know that A is not greater than B because A has a matching numeric code of 97 and B has a matching numeric code of um, 98. And so 97 is not greater than 98, and so this shouldn't um, display anything. So compile and then run, and nothing happens because A is not greater than B. And so that's how characters are compared in um, Java. You know, with Unicode in mind, Unicode and ASCII and enc the encoding system in mind. All right. So that's that. That's an idea of it. That's an idea of how you compare um, compare uh, compare things like that. So go to this video and then. Um, it, it took me to uh, my my edit my ed, um, editing pain, but yeah, when you go through to, to the comment section, so not the comment section, the description, you'd see the, these links. And the reason why I put uh, a bunch of them, sorry, <laughs> the reason I put a bunch of them is because uh, in the future some of them may not work, right? But for now, I think um, all of them all of them do. So let's click on the last one, for example, and see we have something very similar. A is ninety-seven, B is ninety-eight. And it's, this is kind of cool because it shows you here too. Um, yeah, so so that's it. So when you're comparing characters, just have that in mind that you can use a less than sign, greater than sign to compare characters that way. Okay. All right. So if you have any questions, please uh, let me know in the comment section, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time in the next video. All right. Bye bye.